Oh, hi there. It's me again, Steve J Studios. It's another episode and let's name this episode one. Today we are going to talk about wedding planning from a photographer's point of view. I'm going to be sharing with you tips and bits of how to plan your wedding. I mean, this is from a photographer's point of view. So we're going to be sharing some few points, what to do and what not to do. So point number one, finding a photographer. You know, there are a lot of photographers out there. If you have one, hallelujah. If you do not have one, I'm sure you go through Instagram or over the internet searching for this person, trying to find like the perfect guy to photograph your wedding day. Thankfully, if you get one, don't just make payment straight away. Try and ask him or her to send you one or two links of like the jobs he's done or the, the events he's covered previously from the past. After sharing with you the link, you could ask a friend, maybe one or two people for reviews and recommendations, or you could even go to Google and find out reviews if he has a good or bad review. If it's good, now you can ask your friend. Maybe someone could have worked with him. You'd want to find out if this guy or lady is like is it going jovial or it's like a fun type. You know, weddings are more of like a happy moment. So you don't want to get someone that isn't really easy going, someone that has anger issues or someone that doesn't even know how to relate with someone or a new person. Please review contracts. It's very, very, very necessary. Review contract. If that's something that's favorable to you, good. If something does not favor you, you notify your photographer or videographer, then you guys could look at a way of solving the issue or you could make some adjustments to the contract. Now, before moving to the next point, please do not plan your wedding. Do not plan your wedding, dear brides. Please book a wedding planner. These guys will make your work so smooth and they will make your work a lovely one. You don't want to be stressing out on your wedding day because it's, it, it seems like it's a small day. You could call someone from Kumas, hey, uncle, I'm getting married so you can come to Accra or you can come to Wa or Tamale next month for my wedding. No, we don't do it like that. You want to book or hire a wedding planner to coordinate all your itineraries, making sure your vendors come, your wedding vendors come on time, making sure your event is running smoothly, making sure your dress, your robes, your gowns are coming on time. You don't want to have your wedding today or now, then your gown is coming it's on its way right now you'd want to wear it and make sure it fits you perfectly before you even wear it probably like two three days before yeah i think two three days before it's fine yes so i think what the wedding planner topic i'm going to be discussing it maybe in the next episode but for now let's just keep it to our terrain that's with working with photographers number three is making payments with the packages, you are able to know how many photographers and videographers your people are coming with, whether they are going to be two or three, four photographers, five photographers, six. Some people want like intimate weddings, so you can hire one photographer and two videographers. They want to keep it like simple, very, very simple. Some people want to bingy, so large that they want to hire three photographers and five videographers. It depends. It comes with the money, it comes with budget and money. So if you have the money, why not? If you want to keep it simple, you could hire like a small team and the document will work nice, nicely for you. Point number four, I think this point it should even be number three. Number three is confirming timelines and your expectations way before making payments because you don't want to be making payments 
then you come and find out oh i'm not going to be getting a photo book i'm going to be getting just one frame i'm going to be getting no frames at all you don't want to find out the deliverables what you are going to have like your overall expectations before the get go it's very important so let's make this one number three your expectations and your checklist and all those things right so this one will be number three point number five you make payments you also know the role you are playing both parties know their role i know my role i know i'm going to be offering you x a b c d deliverable you also know you are going to be offering me or you are going to be expecting from me a b c d amount so there are no surprises i know i'm going to be offering you photo book frames pen drive um online soft copies like all these things you also know you will ask a bride to be waking up early you wake up early you get to the venue on time you get you coordinate your bridal party to reach the venue on time whether it's a hotel or the house everyone is on time so that also make our work easier and it makes everything so fluid you don't want to be in a rush that day especially in the morning where we are planning our day and we are looking for the bride. we can't find her and she's asking for hey are my family still on their way from kumasi is my brother coming with the car is the is is are my drinks coming is the dj on his way are the ha, have the food vendors arrived no this is why we spoke about hiring a wedding planner because planners are in charge of the day yours is just wake up and show up and smile exchange your vows and have a blast afterwards yeah so you wake up early you coordinate your bridal party you make sure they are all on time they come we take pictures and videos they dance they smile they make merry they have fun you show up at the church you exchange your vows take pictures wedding exclusives you and your bridal party you and your groom or the groom and the bride you go to the reception you have fun toast um pop champagne toast to celebrate like all those things i think all this is will be like another subject for another day but this is just like a five tip video for incoming brides on how to plan their wedding day so i guess it's just thank you so much for listening and do comment share with me anything you want me to talk about in the comment section or you could dm me on what you'd want to hear or see me produce and i'm going to be um, doing them for you for free so thank you so much and i look forward to talking to you or seeing you in the next episode thank you so much and bye bye